The Spanish are passionate in everything that they do. You see it in the artistry of Pablo Picasso. You see it in bullfighting, the original blood sport. Spain and passion is in their DNA. Tonight, we have the best freestyle motocross riders on the planet doing battle right here in the Plaza de Toro Las Ventas. And as history has taught us in this place, two will enter every time, but only one can be victorious. This is X Fighters Madrid, and you're watching the Red Bull Signature Series. I'm Sal Masekela, and this is the fourth stop of the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour. And it's fitting because it was right here in Madrid, Spain, that X Fighters was born. And for the last 12 years, this event has been 100% sold out. But you can't have a story without a hometown hero. And in this case, it would be Danny Torres from right here in Spain. He has won this event twice, and we would like nothing more than to see him give this crowd what they came for. But enough about me. How about we throw it up to Todd Harris and Tess Sewell for more. Thank you, Sal. Very excited to be here in Madrid for the fourth stop of the X-Fighters World Tour. The energy is incredible. Beside me today, X-Fighters Sports Director Tess Sewell. Tess, before we get to the competition, take a look at our matchups here in the quarters. Four fantastic matchups. Sato versus the Spaniard Malero. Viejas versus the Spanish favorite Torres. Paget versus Higashino. And then the down under matchup of Blake Williams and Levi Sherwood. So those are the top eight competitors here in Madrid facing off in head-to-head -head format, something we like to call the six sick tricks. Take us through a test how the judge is going to rank these guys. Well, these guys are going head-to-head. -head. They only get to do six tricks in this round with a two-minute outside time limit. Five judges looking at variety, execution, style, use of course, and the all-important energy. So we're getting ready here in Madrid to release the hounds. Let's take a look at the season so far in the X-Fighters World Tour. The story here is simple. You enter the ring, stare down your opponent, and unleash your arsenal, bringing the chanting crowd to a feverish boil, unrelenting. You take the victory that waits before you. It can seem poetic or violent, aggressive or effortless, but to win also takes cunning, tete-a-tete, -tete. Each move, a calculated risk. The riders of the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour are here to battle. FMX is a game where the rider needs to balance progression and experience, risk against reward. Rook takes Knight. Adelberg looks to move from pawn to king. Knight takes Bishop. Levi takes Dubai. 20 years old. Levi Sherwood, he has got the win, a changing of the guard. Bishop takes Knight. Potter takes Glenn Helen. Check. California's top Potter claims the biggest win of his career. Queen takes Bishop. Rabo waits in the wings. But so does a new breed. Absolutely explosive for Paget of France. 
Which king will end the match standing? Alone, victorious. A quick look at the standing so far on the world tour has American Todd Potter on top, followed by Levi Sherwood and Javier Viejas in third place. For more on Todd Potter, we throw it down to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Tina Dixon. Guys, I'm in the pits right now, and unfortunately, Todd Potter, the tour leader, will not be competing in the finals. He took a huge crash in practice, and I talked to his mechanic. He's actually in the hospital right now. But the good news is, X Fighters, the rules, he can throw this event out and compete later on, and he still has a chance at the overall title. Looking forward to seeing him later on. And we wish Todd Potter a speedy recovery. When we return to Madrid, it's action time. You're watching X Fighters Madrid on the Red Bull Signature Series. Back in scenic Madrid, Spain, while we were away, we had our first matchup. Japanese writer Ego Sato versus Mikhail Malero. And when you look at Sato out there in front of this Spanish crowd, you can't believe he's the oldest guy here tonight, 33 years of age. Should be retirement for anybody, but not for this guy. The bold samurai put in a great ride. But then, in front of the Spanish crowd, Michael Malero, wow, this kid is really coming on strong, Todd. The 24-year-old from Spain lighting up the sky in front of his home nation. And when it came down to the judging, he would get the win, getting four out of the five categories. Well, the crowd is ready for our next matchup, and this will be a great one, Test. Javier Viejas taking on Danny Torres. Well, this Chilean rider has a very tall order in front of him, taking down Danny Torres at home in space. This is Danny's house. But I've got to say, watching Javier this year, he has improved tenfold over last year's riding. He's putting in some huge tricks. He's about to unleash them here tonight. The 28-year-old from Santiago, wow. Chile, opens it up. Talk about extension. And unbelievable, just he held that for a beat longer than you really should. That ramp, it's 35 meters long. That's like 115 feet. He's flying through the air. Fantastic way to start. Back into the arena. Uncorks a beautiful backflip with a variation. Now, what is the key for him going forward, knowing that Torres is going to come out and unleash? Well, what Torres tends to do here is he lands a lot of things no-handed, but when you're really here in the pressure cooker of Madrid in Las Ventas, what you have to do is you have to extend everything and execute everything cleanly because you really are under the microscope. Has coming out again. Big kiss of death went for the Indian there. Tried to scissor kick the legs there. Look at him. Looking at the judges, nodding his head. He's trying to take it from them and make them know he's doing well. This is a great ride for Javier Villas. He's got to keep his eye on the clock, get as much done as he can within that time. And remember, five judges trying to impress every one of them as he can take those away. But Danny Torres, with 10 seconds left, is waiting in the wings. This has been a great ride. Remember, Torres is coming back from injury, so it's not a foregone conclusion. Great suicide no-hander backflip. He's the only guy that does that trick with that style, and he's claiming it in front of the Spanish fans. And I love this one, Todd. Look at how long he holds that. Mm. Judges looking for variety, execution, style, energy, and course. And Wow, that certainly brought the fans of Madrid out of their seat. And here we see this big laid out. Look at this. He hooks the feet underneath the pegs and then lays all the way back. Suicide no hand or backflip. Great run there for Viejas. So Viejas' work is done. This is the 25-year-old Spaniard, Danny Torres. He will now be on the clock for his run. Remember, Torres, the reigning X Fighters champion. He won it in 2011 and a nail biter in Sydney, Australia. But this is his house. Rushing there into the tunnels. This is the difficult thing about Madrid. The tunnels are very tight. You have to maneuver around. You lose so much time. Big oh. turn down whip from Torres. And Torres rocking the national colors, has them on their feet here, Las Ventas. Oh, nice. Over the super kicker does the big Superman seat grab Indian Air backflip. That 
was actually a risky move because it's such a short space from takeoff to landing. See exactly what he's working with here, taking a different line. Oh, yes, he goes for the cliffhanger flip. That is Danny Torres' nemesis. He has had so many problems with that backflip variation, but not tonight. Great execution. And Viejas looking a bit nervous. Well, the defending champ still has work to do as Viejas looks on. Remember, it's head to head as the checkered flag comes out. That will be his final trick. All right, Tess, I know you're not a judge, but you play one on TV sometimes. How do you think this one ranked? Well, take a look at this. Look at the extension he gets on that heart attack flip. He's just really emphasizing everything the way he can. Huge scissor kick of the legs there, and that was the brave one over the really short ramp. And here, the dead body backflip. How on earth do you get back on after a trick like that? So here we go. Variety goes the way of Torres. Execution goes the way of Viejas. Wow. Can't argue with that. Torres gets style course, and That's Torres it. gets the win. Great win there for Danny Torres. Well deserved, but not knocking Viejas at all. We'll have much more when we return to Madrid. You're watching the Red Bull Signature Series. This is X Fighters Madrid. Welcome back to Madrid, Spain. You are watching the Red Bull Signature Series. This is X Fighters Madrid. Alongside Tess Sewell and Tina Dixon, I'm Todd Harris. That is Taka Higashino. Now he's in our next matchup. He'll be going up against that man, the 27-year-old from France, Thomas Paget. While we have a moment, let's learn more about this innovator, Thomas Paget. Like every new tricks, you're really scared because you never know like if you're gonna make it safe. The bike has to be to go like as straight as possible in the air. When I'm just taking off my hand from the bar, I'm not touching anything, I'm kinda like flying in the air. And that's the um, scariest part because I know where I am, but I don't really know how low is the bike under me. This young man does something that no one else does. This is not the best trick competition. This is a freestyle uh, competition, so you got a whole run. Freestyle is all about the flip still. I'm not flipping. I don't want to be like anyone. I um, just want to be different. So here he is, Thomas Paget. He will be the first one on the clock. Remember, it's a head-to-head -head matchup with Taka Higashino, who's waiting in the wings, and a nice way to open it up. Oh, I think his boots actually touch the front wheel there. He really, I mean, he just puts a different twist on almost anything. And the one thing I have to say about Tom is that he can backflip. He just refuses to backflip because he doesn't think anyone appreciates the flips he does. So he's come up with a completely new run that includes no flips, but massive tricks like this, there the boat! Goes. And claimed it with the left hand, did you see that? Just incredible, even Taka Higashino has to agree. It's one of those moves that you see the first time test and you go, what just happened? And you really have to see it in slow motion to appreciate it. And here you go, oh, the special flip, and he pulls it! Absolutely fantastic riding from the Frenchman. You saw the Volt body burial, which very few people in the world have even attempted, let alone do. And then he busts out this special flip. Wow. I have no idea how Tom Pages actually manages to hang on to the motorcycle while he does most of these tricks. He is making quick work of Las Ventas here. What a run for Thomas Paget of France. And there you saw his manager, Seb Bio, looking on, very, very happy. A great run there for Tom Paget, and he is claiming it. And listen to the Spanish crowd. This is it, the vault. Watch this, though. He's on the bike, and then he pumps the left hand and claims the trick in midair. And I love this, the special flip. Grabs the bike, see, he's grabbing the seat hole there, and somehow brings it back down to earth. You talk about progression of the sport. If that's not the pitcher of progression, I don't know what is. Such a dangerous trick, and he goes out there and just throws it down. All right, the 27-year-old from Osaka, Japan, he's got a tough act to follow, literally, as Takahiga Shino gets nice. things going nice. Well, Taka is the X Games gold medalist this year, so 
He's probably going to do pretty well in any situation, and he does backflip. You just saw that. That's the, the defining thing between Tom and Taka. Taka's doing the backflips. Tom refuses to flip, but Tom brings such innovation to the sport. So far, Taka has great extension in this run. One of the things that the judges are looking for, the execution of all of these tricks. And one thing you may knock Pages for is that he has to rush those new tricks. Nice extension there. Remember the judges looking for variety, execution, style, course, and of course, energy. So Higashino looks pretty comfortable. He has yet to uncork his real massive trick, which of course is the rock solid backflip. And there it is, upside down, let's go of the bike. What a way to finish that run. And Paget can appreciate that. Higashino's not done yet. Getting it all done too, by the way, Tess, with just a t-shirt on. Well, this Japanese rider, I've got to tell you, he is one of the most energetic people on tour. Constantly has a smile under that helmet. And take a look at some of these tricks. The big holy grab, one-hander Indian there. Massive combos with a right side up trick there. But watch this. Let's go of the bike upside down. That's the rock solid back that he won best trick at X Games with that one trick. Here we go. The judges have spoken. Execution goes to Higashino. Style to wow. Pajay. One more. He's oh. got it and he gets it. Thomas Pajay is your winner here in this quarterfinal. We're just getting warmed up here in Madrid. Still much more to come on the X Fighters Madrid. You're watching the Red Bull Signature Series. Welcome back to Madrid, Spain and the Red Bull Signature Series. This is X Fighters Madrid. Well, we are set to go with three athletes who have made it into semifinals. One quarter still to go. That'll be Blake Williams and Levi Sherwood. I'll tell you what, just to be out here, you got to be pretty tough. There's no points for toughness. The toughest guy in freestyle motocross? Matt Rabot and Robbie Madison. Robbie Madison? It has to be Robbie Madison. It's really tough. But there's something about the Spanish, but Danny Torres. Danny is tough. I think I'm myself toughest competitor. Just either put too much pressure or try too hard. At Red Bull X Fighters, there are no points for toughness. Best riders in the world, most challenging courses, toughest competition. It's not for crybabies. What that means is there is no favoritism. At the end of the day, we can't give guys extra points on pity. We have to look at their opponent and see how they can get three out of the five judges on their side. We're just looking at the difficulty of the tricks, how well they utilize the course. If they've got really difficult tricks, but only do one type of trick, they're not gonna do that well. We're looking at the form and the flow around the course and in the air. That is where the sort of emotion comes into it. The emotion of the crowd, and seeing the riders' energy that they're putting into their run. Everybody got picked to come here because they're elite. Pro freestyle rider should be like that. It's anybody's ball game at any time. So here we go with the final matchup in the quarterfinals from Madrid. It will be Blake Williams taking on Levi Sherwood. And Blake Bilko Williams, he really is tough because I've got to tell you, his ankle, his whole lower leg is just kind of messed up. He still manages to ride and do things like that. He calls that the cliff pumper. Bilko running alongside the bike. That's the sidewinder or the running man. Levi Sherwood looks quietly confident. Bilko known for pulling out some huge tricks in the past. He's got the 360 in his arsenal. And there it is, big 360 knack-knack for Bilko. But it's been a tough year for the Australian Ton, and you really can see he's not riding with the maximum amount of energy. Blake Williams and Levi Sherwood, our final quarter finalists here at Madrid X Fighters. And of course, these guys, as Bilko goes huge once again, have got to be looking forward to our stop down in Sydney, Australia. This is one of those big down under matchups. You see there, Sherwood concentrating, going through his run in his mind. And Bilko with lots of time left on the clock. Oh, big, he goes for the Superman Indian Air backflip. 
So he's hanging underneath the bike. He's scissor kicking the legs. Now that was interesting. He, he looked up at the judges and the clock, still had 15 seconds. Is he going to get one more hit in or is he going to run out of time? He's playing smart. He's pacing this well because he also wants to bring the crowd along with him. And Bilko, one of the best entertainers on tour, there he goes for the heel clicker 360 and nose wheelies right in front of the judges to finish. So before he hit the ramp, the flag and the horn were out. And here it is. One more time. Let's look at Bilko's run. What'd you think, Tess? Look at this. The 360 kicks the leg over that knack knack where you swing the foot across. Oh, I missed the one-hander on the landing. He's trying to add little pieces in here, but he still looks like he's riding a little bit rough. Nice holy grab there, gets the Indian air at the end. So a good, not great run for Bilko. The 27-year-old Australian now sits and watches the man from New Zealand. This is really the battle of the Tasman Sea as the rubber kid is now on the clock. Sherwood coming out with that huge kiss of death. And remember, they call him the rubber kid because he bends in ways no others can. And it's hard to believe that this guy is still only 20 years old. Well, that's one of those bends we were talking about, Todd. I mean, he goes up and kicks the feet up in this like super cam, but I call it the antenna because no one else does something like this. He looks like he's trying to pick up radio waves. And you got to wonder how the rubber kid would fare in Las Ventas if they released a few bulls in here. I mean, he, he can flex himself <laughs> out. He could get around. I'm sure we got to send him off to Pamplona one of these days to dodge the bulls. Oh, nice. Superman seat grab, heart attack style. He really hangs underneath the bike there, stretches the legs and the body out puts that little extra emphasis on every single trick, and the judges notice that. I gotta tell you, the execution and the variety of tricks really looks like it's favoring Levi Sherwood here. And when you compare Bilko's holy grab to Levi's holy grab, you saw how smooth it was and how effortless it seemed. Oh, look at that, that's amazing. He goes for the bar hop to Superman upside down on the bike. But look at this, he starts it off with just a gigantic kiss of death. How on earth he pulls himself back on the bike, I have no idea. Then this, over the super kicker. See how the feet are extended in the air, the body's twisted. I do believe his spine's not actually connected there. This is what we're talking about, the holy grab, and see how smooth the execution is. I'm sure the judges are gonna reward that. All in the judges' hands now. You've got to win three out of the five categories. And it's a clean sweep yeah. for Levi Sherwood. Not only winning three of five, he gets all five over Blake Williams. So our semifinals are set here in Madrid as we take a look at the men who are moving on here at Las Ventas. Semi one will be Thomas Paget and Danny Torres, and then it's Michael Malero and Levi Sherwood. We'll have that when we return to Madrid. As you can see, our Spanish friends are very passionate about X Fighters. You got something that you're passionate about? Well, then why don't you get off the couch and get involved? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can log on to the Red Bull Signature Series.com on your mobile device. Right now, we're fired up for the semis. Thomas Pages versus the local boy, Danny Torres. It's going to be a good one. Ole! All right, thank you very much, Sal. Here we go. First to ride in the semifinals will be Frenchman Thomas Paget. Now, he does not flip now, but he was the first rider to ever pull a double grab backflip on the dirt. Is now the time to start flipping, Tess? Uh, you know, I just don't think he's going to do it because he's seen that these tricks he's pulling are so innovative that they're really influencing the judges to give him a good score. But he is up against Danny Torres. Oh. And that's a tall order. Again, he goes there, and, and how does he manage to stretch and actually kick that front tire? It's just amazing. Well, we saw Paget in the quarterfinals. He was absolutely electric. We saw the vault. We saw the special flip. Does he need to up the ante to give the judges something more? 
I think he's probably going to go for the vault here. Yes, he does, and claims it again, <laughs> but a little bit sideways on the landing. Big risk there in trying to emphasize that trick, but it was considered almost impossible to do that trick, and now he has enough time and presence of mind to even pull off a hand before he lands. Oh, there it is again, the special flip. And he does that one going straight towards the judges, so it's got to look really amazing from the judges' stand. Oh, Tom just extends things so well, and he is probably one of the best exponents of the whip on a motorcycle that actually rides today. He shows this in this run here, going for the big turn down whip. That is just amazing. 14 seconds left on the clock. He needs to rush into the tunnels. He's there going he for, is. He's going for use of course here. He needs that super kicker and he knows it. Uh. Will he get into the tunnel in time? Okay, we heard the horn, but I don't know if this trick is gonna be in time. Wow, hanging underneath the motorcycle on that huge whip. That's head judge Drake McElroy, and he's not sure if the final trick was actually in time. Well, these tricks definitely were in time, Tess. Again, Paget bringing out the bull, bringing out the special flip. But was the claim right there the wise move? Well, when he claimed that, he actually sent the bike sideways. That caused him some problems, but no problems with that special flip. That was great. Danny Torres is really gonna have to ride hard to catch up to the scores of Tom Paget. Danny Torres, the defending X Fighters world champion, now on course, and the Spaniard comes out like a bull. Nice. I love the way he does that heart attack backflip, and he really emphasizes every piece of that trick. And that's what the judges are looking for. Remember, as we said, this is kind of a, a real microscope and you have to do tricks perfectly here in Las Ventas because the judges are so close. Turn down whip there from Danny Torres, perhaps not as big as Tom Paget though. Danny is known for doing that trick. Here off the super kicker. Huge risk there, doing such a big backflip combo with such a small space. It's only about 45 feet from takeoff to landing. Five categories, variety, execution, style, course, and energy. And I gotta say right now, the energy clearly in favor of Danny Torres. Oh, and listen to this crowd going wild. And that is the trick we say is his nemesis, the cliffhanger backflip. He's had so many problems with that in the past, but pulled it a couple of times perfectly tonight. Nice. Big dead body flip. And that one was really extended well. Tom Paget looking a little concerned there, I think, Todd. And I think he should be because this is the best we've seen Danny Torres ride in a while. Torres ending it oh. up with a beautiful maneuver. He is taking a leap out of Levi Sherwood's book. He's going for the front of the bike to the back of the bike by all in one backflip, and that is incredible. Very, very hard to do. The fans loving what the local boy just threw down, Danny Torres. And there you have it, the cliffhanger backflip. A slight bend at the waist, but that is good execution for Torres, and I love this. The dead body flip, extending that body over the front fender. Trying to win over three of the five judges. That gets you a ticket into the final. Here we go. Torres gets variety, execution. Paget gets style. But there it's it Torres is. getting course. Danny Torres is moving on to the final. So the local boy does good. He is into the final here in Madrid. When we return, we'll have the second semifinal. Malero and Sherwood square off. You're watching the Red Bull Signature Series.
Welcome back to X Fighters Madrid. We are set with our second semifinal. Michael Malero, his second year competing in X Fighters, and here he is with an opportunity to get to the final, but he's got a tall order trying to take out Levi Sherwood here. Uh, and this is amazing for Malero in front of the Spanish fans. He's wearing the Sp Spanish national team soccer jersey, and the fans really, really have been giving him a great ride here this week. He was a protege of Danny Torres, but I think now he's stepping up into his own spotlight. Well, he's already won the crowd over with his choice of wardrobe. That is not a malfunction. That is all by design. The reigning world champion, Espana. Malero trying to pull off every trick he has in his arsenal, but he really is smart. He knows he needs this use of course judge. So there, in the middle of the run, he goes for the super kicker. He's using the course incredibly efficiently. Five judges, variety, execution, style, course, and energy. You need to win three of those five to move on to the final, where Danny Torres, another Spanish rider, is there waiting. Nice big heart attack flip. Now the question about Malero is, will the pressure get to him in front of the Spanish fans? I don't see that so far. He looks pretty confident. Here's the question, though, for you, Tess. Is he writing the best routine that he has available, or is he writing knowing, look at that one-hander, knowing that Levi Sherwood is coming up next? He just seems to be riding a tiny little bit stiff. I mean, he's a great rider, but there you saw when he did that trick. He did the big ruler. He actually had the legs apart. But look at this. The Oxecutioner to rock solid. That is a huge combo right side up for Malero. And here, this is what I'm talking about. The legs are just slightly apart. That is not a perfect ruler when you're looking at execution. So the jersey comes off. Malero is complete. We now shift gears to Levi Sherwood. The young man from New Zealand dubbed the Rubber Kid is on course. Oh, yes, another big start for Levi in the semifinals. They have 90 seconds on course to pull as many massive tricks as they possibly can to impress these judges. And again, Levi going for that super kicker early in the run. And I just love that trick. I love the way he bends and kicks those legs in the air. Huge super can. How much of Levi's success comes from the fact, Tess, that he shows the judges variations on tricks that other guys may be doing, but the way he moves his body around, it's like, wow, I haven't seen that before. It's always been one of the comments that judges have made is, you really notice the tricks when Sherwood does them because they are so unique looking. Young Levi Sherwood on course, trying to make it into a yet another final. Again, big flip combos from Sherwood, and he looks so effortless when he does these tricks. That's one of the things that gets in the execution category so often, is because he doesn't look like he's trying too hard. Wow! That trick looks simple, but is so incredibly hard. It's called a turntable. Taking that one hand off and trying to keep the bike level, that was fantastic. Levi Sherwood having a great run here. Remember, he is going head to head with Michael Malera of Spain, who clearly has the fans in his corner after he came out rocking the Team Spain World Championship jersey. But I'm telling you, on course, Levi Sherwood is very exacting as you hear the horn sound. A picture of efficiency in using this course. Ending it off big there is Sherwood and claiming it in front of the Spanish fans. If anything, this guy is back to his old self. He really looks like he's enjoying his riding. Hanging beneath the bike, the big kiss of death flip that started it all off. Watch this, the turntable. I love how far his left hand comes off the bars. That was beautiful execution. And there, the bar hop to Superman. That's mind blowing. So it's now up to the judges. Remember, you have to get three of the five categories. We're even now at two. And it's Sherwood who's moving on. Levi Sherwood. So our final is now set here in Madrid. And then there were two, Danny Torres in the final, the defending champion of this event and also the defending champion of the X Fighters from last year, going up against Levi Sherwood, who after that big win at the first stop in Dubai would like nothing more than to find himself at the top of the leaderboard. Who will it be? We'll find out next.
beautiful night here in Madrid, Spain, inside Las Ventas. We are set for the final. Danny Torres, the defending champion from last year, and this hard to believe test this is his first final this year it's mind-blowing he's had such a rough year though he's come back from a foot injury and he really seems to be like the old danny torres and the spanish crowd is just loving it danny torres from spain the defending champion of x fighters now we've extended the timeout to two minutes, so now you really have to dig deep into that bag of tricks. Remember, variety is such a huge part of these runs, and if you keep repeating tricks, you're going to get docked by the judges. If anybody has variety, it's Danny Torres and Levi Sherwood. Format is the same. Remember, it is five judges, and you have to win three of the five to get the victory. Variety, execution, style, force, and energy. Oh, goes for the cliffhanger flip there. A little more bent at the waist. And, and it, it looks amazing, but we're talking about tiny mistakes that these guys make. That could be the only thing that defines them in the judges' eyes. No mistake there, though. Big, dead body backflip. Just under a minute left in this run for Danny Torres. There you see Levi Sherwood looking on with 45 seconds to go for Torres. Is he watching what Torres is doing, or does he already know what his routine's gonna be? Well, I think in Levi Sherwood's world, it's all about his planned run and what he's thinking. He's concentrating now, probably running through the whole run in his mind. Danny Torres still with almost 30 seconds to go in this run. He has made good use of this course. All right, if you had to break down maybe the areas he needs to work on, what would you say, Tess? Well, he went for a big trick there where he's going off the front of the bike and the back of the bike. We saw Levi Sherwood is doing that very well. Bar hop to Superman. Danny tried to add the scissor kick, the Indian air, and I think it just looked sloppy. I think that might cost him. Goes for the no hand of the stage dive. That is what Torres is known for. He does a cliffhanger and never checks the bars. So here we see that big heart attack flip. That is absolutely beautiful. But watch this, dead body flip. Again, well executed. And this, what can you say? Watch, never checks the bars. That's some guts right there, Todd. So Torres' work is done. Now all he can do is sit and watch this man and I say, man, just 20 years of age out of New Zealand, Levi Sherwood. He got the tour going off right, just like this big move <laughs> down in Dubai. Oh, I love the fact he comes up the big ramp. He's got 110 plus feet to hang underneath that bike, and he takes advantage of every single second of it. As Tess pointed out, we've extended their time from 90 seconds to two minutes. Danny Torres looking on, trying to get rehydrated. Will he walk away with the title? And what a scene that'll be if he does. But Levi Sherwood, just to see, seems to be so on point here in Madrid. Oh, extra little punch there on that nine o'clock neck. What he's doing is he's putting the same run down as he did in the semifinals, then I think he's going to put extra tricks in the extra 30 seconds at the end. Nice. Judges looking for variety, execution, style, course, and energy. You win three of those five categories, and you will be our champion here in Madrid. His execution so far has been flawless. I mean, just amazing to watch. And there again, when he gets the double grab, he holds it just a beat longer than anybody else, and he's going towards the judges at that moment. Oh, a little bit of trouble there in the tunnel. Tight quarters here in Las Ventas does not seem to be bothering either of these two guys, but Danny Torres looks a little nervous, and he should be. How about that? Well, here is where Levi is starting to add some tricks. That heel clicker flip. And these tunnels of Las Ventas are always a challenge for the riders. Wow, he added something special there. We saw the turntable in the last round there. He did a Superman off the back, so he swung the legs all the way around. That's something new from Sherwood. Levi Sherwood, as the judges look on, they know what Danny Torres has done. Levi Sherwood ghost rides the bike. How about this celebration? Fantastic run for Sherwood. The Spanish crowd 
enjoyed that run. Their hearts are with Torres, but they know Sherwood put in a great run here. Look at that huge kiss of death flip. Little bit nose high on the landing. And then here, he does huge execution on the rock solid. And I love this. Watch how the feet come back. That's the extra little bit of steez from Levi Sherwood. This is it for the title. Three out of five, and it's yours. The first two go to Sherwood. The next two go oh. to Torres. And yeah, it's Sherwood. Sherwood takes it. Congratulations to Levi Sherwood taking the win here in Madrid. And right now, let's take a look at our Red Bull Signature Series moment. Thomas Paget brought a new progressive trick to Madrid and unveiled it for the first time ever here at Las Ventas. Innovation and originality were rewarded. Earned Paget a spot all the way to the semifinals. Thomas Paget's special flip is your Red Bull signature moment. Paget gets the signature moment. Tina Dixon's with our overall winner. Levi, you took out Danny Torres in his home country, in Spain, no less. You've won before in Dubai. You beat him in Dubai just right now. How are you feeling? Um, still in the sink in. My hands are still shaking a bit. <laughs> uh, I knew I had a chance to get on the podium, but I really didn't expect to beat Danny, especially on his home crowd. And it was intense waiting for the helmets to come past. So um, I, was, I was pumped it turned out. So obviously, yeah. Well, it's your win. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Guys. All right, thank you, Tina. Well, well-deserved, Tess. Uh, it was well-deserved. Look at that. Sherwood takes it, but I have to say, Tom Paget, that fourth place, that was well-earned and will help him in the tour. There's the overall standings. Levi Sherwood on top as we make the move north to Munich. Here's Sal. Thank you, Todd. X Fighters does it again, and this time in this unforgettable historic bull ring with the Spanish people proving they might be the greatest fans on the entire X Fighters tour. Congratulations to Levi Sherwood for the big win, his second this season, making him the man to beat and proving variety, execution, and style, the name of the game, in 2012. Next up in the Red Bull Signature Series, the Nike US Open of Surfing as the best surfers on the planet will take over Surf City USA, Huntington Beach, California, September 15th on NBC. And be sure to catch the next stop of the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour from Olympic Stadium in Germany. That's X Fighters Munich, airing September 25th on the NBC Sports Network. For Todd Harris, Tess Sewell, and Tina Dixon, I'm Sal Masekela, and I will see you next time.